What up, what up? It's your boy AD, and that's all day. And I'm up in the spot, you feel me? Oh, let me turn this music down a little bit. But uh, I'm up in here, man, finna talk about the young NBA real quick, you know, because I have been watching it a little bit, so I like, I might as well make a video about it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shouts out to the folks. That still mess with me and watch my videos, you know, just to let you know I'm doing pretty good, doing well. Hope y'all doing well out there. But, um, yeah, so for those who don't know, used to be a big sports fan back in the day. Then I started getting tired of it and realizing that not it wasn't what I thought it was. It just, over time, just lost interest. And I used to call out games and review series all the time, but I don't know, it didn't got so boring, but every once in a while I do like to check the end, you know, and to see, tell what I think or give my opinion on who might win and who might lose. Um, and talk about maybe some other little things. I know I'm coming in a little late, because I know right now um, uh, Cleveland just won line not too long ago and i think we still got golden state and the rockets playing today but i'm gonna start off with the cleveland thing because when the cleveland was going against boston i really was thinking like you know maybe Cavs gonna win this one you know and i'm not a fanboy or nothing like that i just pay attention to the players the storylines you know and what can build the most hype because a lot of the times, to me, the team that's going to win is the team that's going to build the most hype. But you also got to pay attention to other little things, too, as well, like who's home court and stuff like that. Like, But most of the time, it does seem that way, unless they have another plan. But, yeah, I'm looking like, yep, so they are playing tonight. Okay. But, um... So basically, man, when I seen the Cavs going against, I mean, man, it's just so crazy because this series, people have been so wrong about their choices and their picks, you know, but people got to understand, like, a lot of times they do normally do stick to the same routines, but mainly pay attention to the storylines and what's going on and what players are important, you know, because every, every player, like, plays that role, and LeBron James is a very important player to this day i mean he he's one of the best players in the league if not the best player even though he's been around all this time you know he's also one of the last stars from the last era you know from the 2000 era he's like one of the last big stars and we already know they have them do this mj lbj comparison which they do all the time and in my opinion jordan is the greatest and probably always will be who knows but that's just in my opinion, but you know they like to keep that up, you know, so that's something to think about. But what's so crazy about it is James has choked and he has lost a lot, but he's still playing. You know, his legacy is still continuing. You know, nine times out of ten, he will be playing next year in 2019, you know. May make it even to the finals again. You never know. But with Boston and them, I, I had a feeling it was going to be a little competition, because Boston, they acting like they was a hype team. And, you know, the East is already kind of weak as it is. So they had to make a team emerge. But one thing I noticed about Boston is they're the younger team, you know, the less experienced team, the team with the least amount of stars. One thing about the Cavaliers is not only do they have a huge fan base from Cleveland and LeBron James and their other stars, but they also got a huge fan base of haters. And I'm going to call the haters a fan base because y'all are a fan base. If you hate them, just for hating them, because we know people going to come and watch. You know, it's just like Floyd Mayweather, you know. People going to watch him just to see if he going to lose. You know, it ain't so much about the people that like him. And think about all the views LeBron James brings in every time. He's, he's finna bring, yeah, they ain't going to have him win at all, because they had to build up Golden State and build up some of these other teams. But James always been there. You know, it's like his eighth time in a row, you know, just coming to the finals or shit, just this dude just be there, okay? <laughs> like a lot of other stars in the past, right? Like him. But I mean, when I first seen this series before it happened, I was thinking to myself, and I remember I went to a store one day and the game was playing. He asked me, was I watching? And I was like, yeah, I'm be checking the scores. And this was before it even got to what it is now. And I'm like, man, I got the feeling they both gonna go game seven. And I was right. 
because the competition uh, game sevens make the competition seem real and then plus that's more money you know it makes it makes it look com competitive like you don't know who gonna win when it goes game seven you know that's why I, and then especially with this situation now james that made it through I, I had a feeling cleveland was gonna win i did and now the this is the tough one to me though the golden state one warrior one was a tough one to call because we know the warriors got all this rank but the rockets is another one of them teams that have been around for a while as well and the Rockets, man, they seem like they got potential. You never know when that team that couldn't make it is going to break out, you know. And for them to go game seven and be at home right now, I mean, will it be the same situation as what LeBron did to Boston at their home court? You know, will it be? You know, because LeBron is definitely heading back to the finals, as you can see. And in Golden State, but I mean, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Golden State Warriors as well. I don't know, man. It's tough for me to call because you know Golden State would be the hype team. You know Golden State has all this rank, these titles, but at the same time, Rockets is giving them go. And the Rockets got stars, too. You know, the Rockets had stars. The uh, Warriors had stars. The Rockets has a huge star, James Harden, who was a very huge star. You know, like I said, star potential means a lot. It means a lot when you have stars on your team. Um, and that's why I don't know. This could be the surprise year where Rockets come and sneak it and just win. And then it'll be Rockets going against the Cavs. Now, that'd be really crazy. Rockets versus the Cavs. Oh, my gosh. But I could see something like that happening. And honestly, I guess I will go with the Rockets, man. I, I will. I will. Even though Warriors could win this game, I will go with the Rockets. And because why? Because the Rockets and the Cavaliers will be uh, a finals people will want to watch, to keep it real. Rockets, Warriors, yeah, people going to, I mean, Warriors, Cavs, yeah, people going to watch it. But the Rockets and the Cavs, come on, even I'm going to watch it. Like, for real, just because, come on, this is something different. Is James going to run win this ring? Is the Rockets going to pull something out? And just think about how much hype that would be if the Rockets took Golden State down. And had their chances at a title. Crazy stuff. So. If y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all like this video and comment. And tell me what y'all think. And I'm not even going to take it a step further. Until we start. Until the finals starting after this. And I guess I will come in and make a finals prediction. If y'all enjoyed me making a video about basketball games. I've been a little busy lately. I do got more videos to come. Been real busy. You know. Got to put it in that work. But I ain't forget about y'all. So that's all I really got to say right now, man. Oh, and is Chris Paul coming back? Because I did see them say it at the end. Well, say it not too long ago. Like, oh, is he coming back off his injury? It's a game time decision. So hmm. that could be get People might think Chris Paul is out. But then magically he comes back in this game and then lights the court up. You know, when people might think Golden State might win because, oh, you don't have Chris Paul something else to think about but i hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'm gonna holler at y'all later peace out